Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be assembling a 3D number. Um, it's the number one, and it's part of my um, anticipated celebration of hitting 10,000 followers on both YouTube and Instagram. Um, definitely for YouTube first, because that's coming up within the next month. But um, at the rate that I'm going, it might be same time with Instagram. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, anyway, I wanted to do a one, a zero, and a K. So today is the one. It's the first of the in, um, of the series. And um, I chose different themes because it's representing my top three videos. So the first one is The Grinch. I did not realize how popular The Grinch is. So anyway, um, um, I'm doing a one. And so we're going to assemble it. I mean, I've kind of with this is it you know it's on the fly it's not for a customer it's for me so anytime that it's for me i sort of feel like um i leave things more open to changing things up so i have a couple of things here i have the one i did it in just plain um cardstock in white to build the one but then i thought oh maybe i'll look plain so i cut out some paper i'm going to try something new i have the foam tape here i have the glue gun here kind of have everything ready to go and i'm using barely art uh craft glue which is my favorite glue when i have to use glue so you guys know i hate using glue anyway we're kind of incorporating a lot of things here. Um, I love the mix of gold on gold. We're going to be doing a lot of layering. Um, we're going to be using foam tape to kind of like lift everything up, like the presents. Each present is going to be standing up on its own. I'm also going to be using iron-on to do the thank you for 10K. And I want the ornament to be hanging here from a string, and it's going to spin. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. I wish I could make it a little bit more 3D-ish, but um, I figure a front and a back and it's spinning is as good as it's going to get for now. Maybe next year when I hit another milestone. Um, I'll do something that looks like really 3D, like a globe. But all right, so let's get started. The thing with 3D letters, and I'm not an expert on it yet, um, so I just started doing it, you know, this year. Um, although by the time you see this video, it'll be 2021. But I started it in 2020, and so I'm definitely, like I said, not an expert, but there are some tips that I've already acquired. The first thing is that when you're doing a 3D letter or um, a number, you have a front side, right? And actually, I have something to show you. <clears throat> so if you give me a second, here is one of the ones that I've done. So you have a front side. No one's really seeing the back side. So the back side, the first side that you assemble is a lot easier to assemble because there's space that you can move your fingers in, right? Um, once you have one side down, the second side that you do, which I recommend is the back side, the front side should be the one that you do first because there's more room for you to fix and um, more places where your hands can go to make it look more presentable and hide all your errors. Um, the second side is definitely more difficult to do. So the second side, I would recommend doing the back side because no one looks at the back side. All right, so keeping that in mind with the one, the way I would do is this is the front side of the one, right? We're gonna be doing this side first and actually I'm going to be using the glitter, the glitter one. The glitter one is the one that is going to be my top side. So here is the glitter and it didn't cut well at first. I had to change my blade. So anyway, so here's the front side. It's kind of nice to use something that has a front and back because for me, I have, I'm really good at math. <laughs> I'm not patting myself on the back, but I'm a math tutor. So I'm really good at math, but where I am really bad is with like spatial awareness. And so when I flip things backwards or I'm trying to like, um, unfold something like surface area, I have a lot of trouble. So puzzles and stuff like that, it's really difficult for me, even though it looks really obvious. So this is nice because there's a front and a back side. So I know when I flip this over, that this is my back side because I want this to be my top. So knowing that, let's fold all of our tabs. So our tabs right here, they're cut. I don't know if you can see the cut lines, but it's, you know, I just fold it, fold everything so that it's, it's easy for you to, and I fold it both ways. The first layer 
Um, the first side, when we're putting it together, I like to use my double-sided tape. The second side, when you're putting that last one on, you're going to need to use glue. Otherwise, you're not going to get a good, um, just the way it bounces up. It's going to be hard to do, so it's easier to do it with glue. It's better to do it with glue, I should say, not easier. So I'm folding both ways. Now with most of these, it's really easy to tell where everything goes, right? This is my longest piece right here, so it has to go right here. So you kind of see it has to go like this. The only thing that we don't know is um, if they're equal, they're not. One is longer than the other. So you can see, oh, and I guess, I guess correctly. So it goes like this as opposed to like this, okay? So it's gonna go like this. So knowing that it's going like this, I'm going to unfold it. Hold on. It goes like this, right? <laughs> See? I'm telling you, I'm really, really, really bad at this. Okay, yeah, it goes here because it fits perfectly, right? So I'm going to unfold it like this, and I'm going to run my tape right here along this edge. So I know it's going to go like this, okay? All right, so let's get out my tape and then I'm going to pull out scratch paper right here. So I'm just going to do the glue, uh, the tape all the way on this tab right here. Okay, and then I'm going to move it aside and I'm going to fold it down. And so you can see it's like, it's really sticky, right? And so I'm gonna do one side at a time. and you just wanna press down. So actually when you're pressing down, I like to get another tool just to make, it could be anything. It could be a ballpoint pen for, um, but I just wanna be able to really press down on it to make sure it really sticks. So you can kinda of see what that looks like. So it's gonna stand up like this. All right, so now this side is down. And I just, I'm just making sure that everything is sticking. Okay, so now let's fold this piece. We know this piece is gonna go here, 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 and here. It's the only, it's the only place that's left, right? Because this is our next longest piece, and this is already here, so you know it has to go up and around. So let's fold everything in. And although we know it's going this way, I like to fold it both ways just so that it's <clears throat> it's flexible. And so when we can't, once it's taped down, it's hard to fold it either way. So you kind of just want to make sure that it's ready for you, basically. I think I'm ready. Okay, so it's going to go like this, right? So I'm gonna fold it this way and I know the tape is gonna go along here. So again, I'm gonna pull out my piece. over all my presents. Okay. <laughs> all right, hopefully it's not gonna be one of those projects. Luckily, it's just for me. So you can see I'm still kind of 
um, learning like wh what I like to how I like to do things with 3D letters. So all right, let's put this down. Okay, so you see once it's down, like your hands, it's kind of hard to get everything in and I don't even have big hands. So I just wanna make sure that this gets, it's not gonna move on me. The tape is really activated and sticking. Okay, so where the two tabs meet, there's a piece to glue right here. So I'm actually gonna use my glue now I'm going to undo my Barely Art, put my cap on, okay, <clears throat> and I'm going to glue one tab at a time, and I'm going to use my hands to make sure that it's really sticking, so you got that in there, and then I'm going to keep this down while it's drying. And this is why I just detest using glue. It gets so messy. I'm gonna use my hands and then I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> so I'm keeping my fingers on the inside just so that it's really sticking. And then I'm gonna do the same up here. Onto my jeans. <laughs> All right. I think it's really sticking well. Okay, so these I'm gonna fold down and I'm gonna apply glue on here. And then I'm gonna put this down. When you put this one down, so this is the back side, right? Because this is our front side. What happened there? Okay. Um <clears throat> <clears throat> we have a chance, a moment of time to kind of hold everything together to make sure it's, it glues in place. So we want to put the glue down and then we're going to put the one on top and then we're going to hold it in place and make as many adjustments as we need to when it's down, okay? But that's the nice thing about decorating these letters is you can hide your imperfections. So in the corners, like right here, you can see a little bit of the white. I mean, you know, maybe we'll put more presents here. Um, so the other thing that you can do is you could, you, we could have cut this in gold. I just didn't want to waste the paper. So I cut this decorative paper instead. And I was going to see, I was going to add it down like this so that the sides are like kind of pretty. So I have these cut and we can work with that too. So, all right, so this is all dry. I wanna make sure it's dry before I try to put more glue on and then uh, make adjustments. So I want this to be as stable as possible. So I'm gonna kind of curl it up because that way when we put the glue down and we press this down, it's kind of popping up so it has more surface area to make sure that it stays glued. So, all right, ready? Here we go. I do love this glue though, and I love the tip that it comes with. It's a great, great glue product. Okay, here we go. Always makes me nervous. Okay, I'm gonna put the long slide down first because there's so much to do. And you can feel the, the tabs kind of popping up on you. So that's what we want. Okay, so I'm holding it like this, making my adjustments, letting it dry. And that was pretty easy. It feels like it dried in place. I'm gonna flip it over and kind of Okay, it feels pretty good actually. <clears throat> Alright, so the 
first thing is this one. And I, like I said, I want layers on everything. So I'm actually going to put, um, oh, you know what? This is gl on glitter. So I'm actually going to plug in my glue gun because I don't want this to fall apart on me. And tape doesn't work that well on this. So I will put some tape, but I'm also gonna back it up with glue. So I'm just gonna put a couple on here to give me the depth and the height that I want. And then I'm gonna create my glue dots with my glue gun as soon as it's ready. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put some glue dots down with my glue gun, let it dry so it's going to dry hard with like a spacer basically. So then that way I have both my tape with the adhesive and then I'm gonna dab some glue on the glue, the dried glue dots and that will give me the space that I need up here. In the meantime, let me plug in my um, mini press, which I love. If you guys are debating on whether or not to get it, I use this quite a bit. And I have quite a few heat presses. I have um, an actual like clamshell heat press. I also have a nine by nine, a six by seven, and the mini. And I use the mini a lot, so it's just so convenient. All right, so we have that. Let's build our presents. So all of our presents, like this one, this is, you can't stack this one because it's so thin, but I'm going to tape the back onto the front and then I'm gonna put my um, my glue dots on here. So let's do that. Um, let's get our scratch paper, move this aside. And for the time being, I'm gonna leave my glue out just in case I need it. Okay, when you use your glue tape though, this glue runner, you need one of these things right here to kind of pop all the webbing because it it's kind of like uh, spider webs. So you'll be able to see it when it's on top of another surface. So you do want to pop it just so that it's you don't see it or it's less distracting. You may still see a little bit, but that's acceptable. So we're popping all of that, okay. And I always find that even though I pull out my paper and I, I layer them to see, oh, does this look good? And everything looks good to me, um, that when you still cut it in the end, some things don't look as good. So um, I had to cut this a few times. So here's this present. We're gonna put, um, some foam tape on here. Okay, so that's one present down. Let's look at these other presents. A lot of layering with this project and it's gonna look so good um, you don't want everything to just be flat and sitting on top of each other so all right yeah. and then let's see what other presents do we have we have now I can't remember which one I ended up saving and using okay I think we definitely use this one Let's rebuild this for a second. This one goes over here. Actually, I think I used this. I know, I knocked everything over. <laughs> um, let's see, this, this one we ended up not using because I ended up, it was, it just didn't sparkle as much with the green and the red. So we'll move that aside and look, I had, I cut it multiple times. Okay, this goes here, and it had a, let's see, this. 
oh, I ended up not using the green. I did this. I think this goes here. There's one more present right here. Where is it? See, I knew there was a present there. Okay, this one had this right here. So let's get this one down. And yeah, isn't that cute? Okay, so we've got this layer. This one goes down here with this on top. So this one, I don't know if this is gonna stick that well. I'm gonna do this for now. And then maybe we'll have to glue everything in the end. Let's see where this goes. And then this goes here with this one across. Okay. I know a lot of details, right? But it's all the details that just makes it so good in the end. Okay, so we have this one at the bottom, this one next, this one on top, and then actually this one here, and then this one on top. So this one's going to need some. Okay, um, but I think everything's kind of taped down, so. Let's turn it all around and put our glue dots down. And we can assemble this first. So the most back layer is this, and I think my glue, yeah, my glue gun is hot, so I'm going to add all my glue dots here now. Hold on. So do you see that? I added another dot that's kind of within the same height and I'm gonna let it dry. That way later, I will peel off the sticker but I will also have a little bit of glue so that it will attach to the glitter. I don't, glitter paper makes it so much more difficult for it to stay on, so. All right, so all my presents have that. Let's add some spacers here and then we're gonna do our ornaments right now as this stuff dries okay so that's there I'm gonna put this down okay in the meantime while everything is drying what we want to do is I'm gonna to try to squeeze this in we're gonna do thank you first now I am going to cut off this part right here, the transfer tape, because I wanna be able to put the U down and I wanna make sure that everything from this U is actually touching the frame or the, the bulb. You don't want the word U to be touching the transfer sheet because then it's going to um, adhere itself to the, to the transfer tape, which I can't even tell you how many times I've done that. It's so ridiculous. Okay, I think that's good right there. Nothing is touching each other. Okay, so I am going to put this down and I'm going to hit it with this. And I don't want to heat it so much. I want to heat it just enough for it to stay down on my paper and it may need a little help but I want to get rid of this transfer sheet because I feel like it doesn't it keeps the heat from getting to it so it's not adhering to my paper but I also don't want to subject my paper to so much heat so if I can pull this off which is what I'm doing 
Um, if I can pull it off, then I can put my Teflon sheet down and that will allow the heat to go through and have the, the letters stick better. And right now it's not really sticking all that well, but um, I, I'm using glitter vinyl or glitter HTV. So it's kind of thick enough to mess with. So I'm kind of just pulling it off. So you can kind of see, oh no, my letters. Okay, hold on. Oh, it got all messed up. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. Okay, so you can see it, it kind of moved a little bit more than I wanted it to. I think it should be more like this. So I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so it's stuck to my thing and it says thank you. Okay, let's do it with the 10K. I'm gonna heat it just a little bit more just to make sure. But you don't wanna ruin your cardstock. This is you know, the gold foil. So I don't want to put too much heat. I just want it to stick. Okay, and it feels like it's sticking. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off because I can see the edges of the gold wanting to come up. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna do the 10K real quick. And again, on this one, I'm gonna to try to just get it hot enough, sticky enough for it to stick to my paper, which it did, because it's a little bit thicker, but it's not completely sticking yet. So now I'm gonna put this down, heat this up, and I think we should be good. Yep, it was much easier here because there was more space for it to stick. So I'm gonna turn this off unplug it and move it out of the way so we have more space all right so with this 10k it's going on black so I'm just gonna use my foam stickers and we can actually just do this one so I'm gonna peel off the top this is the one thing that I hate about using foam tape is the amount of work it requires to take it off. So <laughs> I'm gonna use my little, I call them my chopsticks, but I guess they're more like forceps. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. And then afterwards I have a bunch of these laying around like the top of it, it drives me insane. <laughs> But like I was saying, everything is layered. Nothing's gonna sit on flat unless it absolutely has to. Okay, so here's our 10. I'm just gonna pick this up. And then this is going to have, I'm gonna put some foam tape on this, but it's going on glitter. So I'm also going to have Some of my foam, some of my glue. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Let's get this one down. So right now we're just building our layers. Let's get this down. Ooh, that was not good. It's not even and balanced. Okay. All right, this one, I'm gonna pull this off. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of glue here. And 
and then put it on the gold. Okay, so this one, for some reason, I don't know why I did, that, did it that way. I had a cutout for some reason. So I'm not gonna be able to layer it all that well, but what we will do is we're gonna have this little piece coming up like this. So we're gonna glue this down both sides. So that's going down and then we're gonna put this one down. So this one, I can just put my foam squares and then I'm gonna hit more glue on here so that the string doesn't come off. And So this is going down right here. So you can see our ornament, it has a lot of layers. And it's gonna spin. So it's spinning, sorry. Spin like, it's gonna spin like that. <laughs> so. Now on this one, if you get any kind of like glue webbing, you can't rub it off. You need to peel it off because of the gold. Okay, so there, I peeled it off, I could see it. All right, so I'm gonna put this down, this is done. Let's get, we're gonna put this down next, let's see. So this one, let's do our glue drops all along this back. And I need to get more glue sticks, so give me a second. Let's look at our presents. So our presents, one of my stickers came off. Did I pull it off? <laughs> Probably. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Let's build our presents. So our present starts with this one. So I'm gonna peel off this piece right here. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of glue so I know that my piece will stick. All right, so here we go. All right, then the next piece is gonna be this little guy right here and it's gonna go on top like this. Everything's sticking to me. <laughs> All right, um, put a little bit of glue right here. Oops. And 
you can see already the layers is so pretty. And look from here. Okay. All right, so our next layer is going to be this guy over here. And he's going to go under. So let's pull off all the tape. And then this one's going to sit on top of everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's pull off the tape of this one. I feel like I need to wash my hands in the middle of this. Okay. So you can see building the 3D letter was probably the easiest and fastest part. The rest is, you know, making it really pretty and nice and all of that. So that's the part that's going to take a long time. Okay, I'm going to put glue on here. So that's our presence that's going to sit down here. So you can see it's really popping up. I don't know how much you can see from there, but this is actually very, very layered. Okay, so we're gonna now put this guy on. Okay, so I'm actually going to need maybe foam tape right here to help me balance it out. And we can always apply the foam tape later too. Let's see, I think right around here. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> we're gonna put our glue on and we're gonna start gluing on here. Hold on. No, this goes down first. Almost made a mistake. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this down first. So actually, I didn't build my little. Okay, let me do some glue dots on this one. Okay, so that that's ready. Let's do it on all of our stuff over here. So I'm gonna flip all this over. These are the. Oh, these ones we don't need to. We can just put glue dots. Um, our foam squares. So let's do that now while we're waiting for everything to dry. So we can actually assemble the Grinch stuff now. Although, let's see, this is going on this, which is glitter, yep. So let's put foam tape on the black outline as well as glue. All right, so let's deal with our one. And if you're wondering where I got this from, I know I've mentioned it before, but 
Um, I got the 3D letters, numbers, and symbols from Nilmara Quintella on Etsy. So it's a great designer. I love the file. All right, so let's get glue on this. I love the gold on gold look. Okay, so let's get this ready. Okay, we're gonna put the hand down. Oh, okay, so let's get Let's do our tree next. Oh, and our stars. Where are my stars? Here are my stars. Let's do the stars as well. I have a little star going up here and I layered it. So you can see it's just gold on gold on gold, but with the layers, it's really gonna make a difference. So um, on this one, let's do our glue dot. On this one, we can just do the foam square. And then on this little guy, we're gonna need to do a glue dot. So everything's got layers. All right, let's do it on this as well. So I'm gonna do some ready let's see let's work on okay so that's not ready yet okay let's see this is gonna go here so let's put our glue down Our presents are gonna go down here. And we have a lot of room to move our presents. Like they don't need to stay on the one. This can actually. I feel like I should put my, my glue dots over here on this one. So we have that, this is down. Okay, so let's do our hand next. So here's our hand, I'm gonna put glue here and then we're gonna flip it over. Oh, I gotta pull off the tape first. My work desk is <laughs> littered. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay. All right, so our hand is down. That's, it's looking so good. Okay, let's do our stars next. So I think our star, okay, our star is dry. So I'm gonna flip that over. 
and build this one. This little guy is just tape. And then this little guy needs glue on top. show you the layers on this one it's so good can you see how I mean it's just three stars but it's going to go on here and it's going to really look good okay we'll put that on at the end because that's going to cover everything okay so that's all ready let's do the hand next the hand is ready And then we have the sleeves and the cups. How does this hand go? Yeah, it definitely goes like this. <laughs> Um, okay, and then we have our star that's supposed to like kind of cover the outline. So it kind of like hides the weirdness of a random hand sticking out is we have the star right here. So I'm going to put it down. looking so good okay um let's do our all we have left are the presents and then the um the ornament okay so i'm gonna put this down here okay let's pull off all of our tape And then this guy is going to sit even higher on here, so. Ah, okay. I can't, I'm going to flip it to the side so you can see it's really popping out, right? And then you can kind of see all the layers. So it really makes a difference. And in person, it's just, it's got so many layers. Okay, so now we're gonna put this down. And I want it like this, so that it's gonna spin like this. So, okay, let's flip this over. And actually sticking on this already so I'm just gonna put some glue down make sure it's really on there and then I'm gonna cut this off a little bit so that it, there's no way it's coming through Okay. 
I know this thing isn't heavy. I don't know why I'm so worried about it coming off. And we're almost done. The only thing we need to do is we need to add our back pieces. So I guess we can do that now, just so that in case you see it from the back, I do like the way this looks, it's pretty. Um, this one, we can just do, I'm gonna grab some double-sided tape. Now I actually, because of all the layers, I don't even know if we're gonna need to do the sides with this pretty decorative paper, but um, we'll see in a second. Let me put this on. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit longer. In the meantime, if we wanted to, what you would do with this is we don't need the tabs, right? So we can cut off the tabs. So, it, so I brought in, let me move everything so that you could see it. I'm gonna move this aside while it's drying. I'm just gonna slice it off. right where the tabs are because we're not folding the tabs in. And the nice thing with it having a little of, um, of the white is that if we didn't cut it totally right it's still okay so actually we could do something like this yeah so let's wait for this to dry it's almost dry okay so let me show you what it looks like on this side Ta -da! so it's gonna flip I think it's so cute and it's still, you can still see that it's the number one, so I like that. And then we're going to cover this and this top side with that decorative paper. Um, I don't know if we need it so much everywhere, but we'll see. So I think what I'm gonna do is have it like this. Okay, so this isn't the right one, hold on. Um, I forgot how it goes. Let's see, this is the inside. So it goes all the way up. So this, let's do this one, start it right here for it to go up and over. Yep, that's what this is, okay. So this one, we're gonna cut off this tab because this was a tab as well. So I just need to get this in. I think I got it. Okay. So I want just a little bit of a crease so that I can fold it myself. And then a little bit of a crease here. And I'm gonna just grab the double-sided tape on this as well. And I think I'm done with the glue gun, so I'm gonna turn it off and move it aside before I burn myself. <laughs> and if you've ever gotten a um, glue gun burn, which if you're a crafter and you haven't, do you really craft? <laughs> um, 
I don't know if you know this, but I use cortisone. Oh my gosh, like instant relief. So first thing that you should be doing is putting your hand or whatever underneath cold running water and then for a few minutes and then um, you put the cortisone on top and you're golden. It's like instant relief and you're fine that day. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so we can do this underside. This underside is this one, this piece over here. And because I haven't cut this yet, I know exactly where to fold it. So maybe we should fold it where the tabs are first and then cut off the tabs. This one also needs the tab cut off. Okay. okay, let's get the tape down. And we're almost done, yay. So much cleaning up to do when we're done with this one. Okay, let me pull off the tape and then we're almost done. Okay. Oh, I didn't do this side right. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Look at so good. Okay, and then this goes like this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut this part right here because it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, because there's a little gap right there. I don't know if you can you can't really see it, but I can see it. Um, so I'm gonna get my knife blade as soon as I can find it. I'm gonna slit it right here so that I can push this up against the piece. I just need to find it, but we're all done. Look at the layers. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see like it's really standing out. Yay! <laughs> All right, thanks so much for joining. I will see you next time. Thanks guys. Um, let me know if I missed anything. If you have any questions, comments, the feedback is awesome. And then if you have a special request, you can also email me at ann at the That's A-N. All right, bye.